Okay, so we're doing a video on different types of running shoes. There are the four that I'm going to cover, and those are the four that I uh, ran in. And so that's where I'm coming from. You're welcome to make suggestions as to good running shoes for people, and uh, you know, on the site, on the Facebook site, or even on a uh, on YouTube. We're going to start with the traditional running shoe. Uh, this is a Asics Gel uh, brand shoe, and uh, it is very much the traditional running shoe. It's got the traditional drop from say 12 millimeter to uh, 10 millimeter, and uh, or and so it's the shoe that most people are running. They're running heel to toe in the shoe, and uh, traditional runners. Uh, would find this shoe to be the healthy shoe to wear. There's a number of good brands out there that I hear from my other, uh, my running friends, Saucony, uh, Brooks, and uh, I think someone told me about Mizuno that made a, a good shoe uh, in that traditional running shoe. This next shoe is the Nike uh, Free Run. And they've got a bunch of different versions of the shoe from softer with more uh, drop to harder with uh, less drop and but it's still got that traditional sole to some extent except it's got a bunch of splits in it so you can really kind of bend this shoe up this shoe's a great walking shoe by the way if you're uh, it's just wonderful for walking they're very very comfortable mine are all dingy a lot of people own them because they like the style on them but uh, consider that shoe for walking and uh, but also running, I, I have a friend who does marathons and he runs in those shoes. Okay, so let's get into the barefoot running shoes. This is the shoe I'm currently running in and I switched to this shoe because I did a mini triathlon and my transitions were horrible in my old running shoe, which I'm gonna show you in a second. But this running shoe is what they call a minimalist zero drop shoe. And it actually has a bit of a drop uh, in the heel. The heel has a little cushion which makes it nicer for walking in which I'm actually pretty happy about but under the ball of the foot and the toe it's pretty much uh, hardly any cushion at all and uh, it's like running in a in a completely radical uh, minimal shoe like the one I'm about to show you. I'm having I'm transitioning to this I'm working on getting my mileage back up I've had to sit on the couch for some personal reasons here lately and uh, I'm working on running in these. I'm going to put some quick laces on them to because I want to do a duathlon. This is my old standard. This is the uh, Vibram five finger shoe, and it has, as you can see, uh, uh, what toe pockets. I guess is the best way to explain it, and it's really just a glove for your feet, but it has rubber on the bottom to protect your feet from uh, getting hurt, stone bruises, such and so on and so forth. It has some arch support. This is the, the Vibram shoe that they made uh, deliberately or, or, or strictly for running. And uh, it's, it's actually my favorite shoe, but it's no good for uh, transitioning in a duathlon or triathlon. And so it really, it sucked for me in my, with my first experience in a mini triathlon. And uh, so I had to move from it to a to, to this shoe, and I'm pretty happy with this shoe. I haven't put the quick laces on, uh, but I think that's going to make it really quick transition. And uh, I'm up to like two miles, but uh, and that's pushing it. But I'm going to build my mileage up because I have two goals, and that's to do a duathlon, and the other goal is to. Uh, do a half marathon here in the next year or so. So those are the different kind of running shoes. Believe it or not, I've just covered uh, probably not all the running shoes out there, but pretty much you know covered what's going on uh, currently in the running world as far as different shoes that people are running in. So uh, hope it helps.